Hi, in this slide uh, we're looking at a, 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 a common learning or non-learning pattern that George Leonard dubbed the dabbler. And again, this diagram is taken out of his book Mastery. And you can see, get my highlighter going here, you can see that somebody starts off and they get going and they, they sort of maybe get a first easy pop then they hit the plateau and they just sort of get frustrated and they quit. And they jump on to the next new fad thing and they get a little bit of a pop and that's great. But then they hit it the hard work and they go, ah, forget this, this is boring. You know, and they, they keep trying different things because they're, they're addicted to the novelty and newness. So down here, what we can, su with summary points, is that they love the novelty of something. They think sort of success comes from all wearing all the cool clothes or having the trappings of expert, you know, being an expert, but they quickly get bored. And here's the key thing with what seems to be initial hard work, like they're expecting what, that everything's going to be easy and lack of quick progress. So again, where, where do we get the idea that with five seconds of work, we can be a black belt 10th degree person and be happy ever after we get that from advertising and a consumer society. We'll come back to that. Um, but when they move on to newness, what they're doing is rather than working to change their view of the world and their attitude about the world and their attitude about work and learning, they want to see if they can't sort of find a quick fix outside themselves. Now, what's troubling about this pattern is that some people can demonstrate it not only within their hobbies, but, you know, as far as their jobs, careers, uh, and or relationships with people. And uh, so obviously these people are not going to be happy in the long run. Being dabbler, you know, another ex expression synonym would be dilettante. Um, so we're left with the question of, okay, if we're guilty of being a dabbler dilettante, what, what are our false assumptions that we're operating about and what new assumptions should we have so that we can get on the path and learn how to learn? Uh, and how, where do we get faith that actually... If I, if I learn mastery and learn how to learn and I, I find important paths that suit me, uh, that I actually will, uh, over on balance over the long haul, have you know, a much higher level of, of success and happiness in, in, in every way. So that's the dabbler. Next slide will be the obsessive. Thank you.